In this video, I want to talk about the most common mistake people make as a freelancer in 2021. Okay, this video is meant for people who are trying to get into freelancing but have struggled to get the very first client. If you are that person, please watch this video till the very end. I want you to understand this very important part. Okay, so understand this one point. It's really important for you to do this because if you don't, you will forever be like chasing the clients and you will not have any major success okay it's super important for you to understand this one point okay that's what we'll be discussing in this complete video hit the like button as well because it's free and it helps me out a lot but yeah i am going to tell you something that worked for me in the last complete one year right i have been freelancing and i always knew about this okay I have experienced it myself and so I want to tell you what this problem really is. So normally what happens is that you see some video on freelancing and how to start with freelancing and they will tell you this. They will tell you that okay go to Fiverr, go to Freelancer, go to Upwork and start freelancing over there. Okay so let's try to understand this right. So you have Fiverr, you have Freelancer and then you also have Upwork. Okay you have these two or three really major freelancing platforms wherein you can start offering your services by making your gig or by bidding for whatever projects the buyer has presented. That's what you would be doing. Now, now understand one point. These platforms have been here from a long time. Okay. It's not something that is recently popped up in the last, you know, one or two years. A lot of people already know that these platforms exist. So what happens as a result of that? Everyone starts getting into this, okay? Everyone makes a gig and they get on to this trend. Everyone gets on to these websites, okay? All of them want to get work on Fiverr, Freelancer, Upwork. Now, because of that, what has happened in 2021 is that there is no space for newbies, for people who are new in this space. By that, I literally mean that you don't have enough experience, you don't have your first client, it's going to be really hard for you to make your very first buck using freelancing. Okay, just keep this one thing in your mind. I don't want you to be like, you know, thinking something else, you know, imagining some uh, alternate reality in which you're just enjoying as a freelancer. It is really hard for you to get your first client and I will not sugarcoat it. And doing it on these platforms, Fiverr, Freelancer, Upwork is a lot more about luck and less about, you know, how skilled you are in the beginning at least. So please understand this one point. Going on to these platforms, Fiverr, Freelancer, Upwork or other ones as well, the more popular freelancing platforms, it will be really hard for you to get your first few clients because you know what happens? You make your gig, okay, on Fiverr or you try to fill the buyer request, okay, that's what you do. But I want to show you this experiment, okay? So I went on Fiverr, I had this very simple buyer request and I said that, okay, I just want to have my YouTube video edited. And what you're seeing on the screen is the number of requests that I've gotten in the, you know, in the past 30 minutes or so. In just 30 minutes, these many people have submitted the, their work and how much can they charge for every single video. A lot of them are there right so as you can see it's really hard for you to compete with them you'll be competing with them in terms of your quality in terms of how much you charge to the client and it's just really a race to the bottom that is the reason why you're not getting your very first client understand this one point so you might be thinking that okay i should not be using these platforms and what should i be doing if i am not doing this right so hear me out properly today what is happening is that a lot of people are into freelancing if you go back one year there were not as many freelancers. The increase in the number of freelancers has been exponential in 2020 because a lot of us were free at our home. We were, you know, fired from some jobs. And so we started freelancing on these platforms, which makes it even more crowded. So this is what you need to do. Two things that I have for you is this. Okay. First of all, what you do, you do one thing. Number one, build a brand. Okay. Build your brand as a freelancer. Okay, how does this happen? Okay, how do you start? I have made a video with Akshat who built sort of his brand on Instagram. You can check out that video. I'll have it over here or in the description. Go take a look at that video. But basically, I want you to understand this one point that you need to start building your brand. You need to start focusing on, you know, getting out there, getting in front of these clients, people who want your services. How can you do that? Let's talk about that really quickly. I won't take much of your time. Just, just 
I just want to talk about the very initial steps that you need to take. You need to first of all start creating content. Okay, so how can you do that? You can either do that on LinkedIn. Okay, by the way, LinkedIn has some crazy reach. Okay, so uh, just understand this one point. Create as much content as you can on LinkedIn and do it as you know as frequently as you can. Okay, so provide good quality content and do it frequently. That's really important for you to do on LinkedIn. It depends on what your niche is. If you are into let's say um, social media marketing, just talk about that. Okay, use specific hashtags. I have a complete free playlist on LinkedIn. So you can take a look at that as well. It will be somewhere around here. Go watch that. It's really important for you to understand how can you build your brand using LinkedIn. If you can understand how to crack LinkedIn as a freelancer, there can be some huge opportunities for you. Okay, so just keep this one thing in mind. When you do this, the reach is crazy right now in LinkedIn. So because of that, a lot of people will reach out to you and they will ask for your services. That's important thing that you need to understand. Build your brand as a freelancer on LinkedIn or do it on Instagram. Okay, doing it on Instagram. What do I mean by that? So let's say you are a graphic designer. Okay, start showing your work. Okay, just start making your posts about what have you designed. I'll give you a very amazing example. There was this one Instagram page. Uh, I'm not sponsoring by the way, like this is just what I follow. It's called as Logo Designer 01. Okay, Logo Designer 01 is a, is a Instagram page. You can check it out, has some amazing designs. I just enjoy just looking at what he's producing. He's an Indian, the person who runs the complete account, he's an Indian uh, and he had about 350 clients or 350 projects he worked on in the past one year. Okay, that's a huge number. Go take a look at his Instagram profile, see what he is doing, see what you can learn from him. Also, there will be a lot of other examples as well. So just take a look at those profiles as well. Um, but understand this one point. If you are building something that is visual, like, you know, video editing or graphic design, animation, show it off on Instagram because that's the sort of platform that will help you with what you are doing over there. Okay, so just keep this one thing in mind. If you can just, you know, share whatever you're building or maybe let's say you got your first client, show the work that you've built for them. Okay, that's really important for you. This is how you build your brand on Instagram. Okay, if you have any more questions about this, let me know in the comment section as well. And if you're enjoying, hit the like button. That really helps me out a lot. Anyways, this is Instagram. Moving on, we have YouTube. Okay, use YouTube to your advantage. It's really important. I have been making videos in the last 14 months as a person who is into video creation, who is into software development, who is into speaking basically, and get this. Every single day, I get at least two to three emails from businesses that want my services. Okay, that is the power of YouTube. All right, just understand this for some time. If you can create that reach for you, the possibilities for you can be endless on YouTube. Okay, so if you're, let's say you're a developer, let's say you are into graphic design or whatever you do, start making content on YouTube. Start putting out those YouTube shorts start showing them what are you capable of building okay there are amazing examples of people that have shown their skill on youtube and they have done stupendously well all right keep this one point in mind this is how you build your brand as a freelancer and then you know what will happen people will come to you businesses will come to you because they know that you do some amazing work all right this is what i want you to understand and when that happens you get to decide the price that you want to work for not them okay so the whole idea of, you know, like negotiating, haggling with them, none of that will be there. Okay. When they will approach you. So keep this one point in mind. Second. Okay. Second, what can you do after that? The next point is to find unpopular. Okay. Unpopular freelancing platforms. Now, what does this mean? Okay. I'll give you examples. So, uh, previously I talked about Akshat, Akshat got his first client on this website called as people per hour. Okay. People per hour is not as, you know, famous as some of the other websites. And he was there at about, I think 2018, 2019. You can take a look at the video. You can, you will get to learn a lot more about freelancing, but basically he hopped on early on that platform and he started providing his services over there. And that is what you need to do. Try to find these unpopular freelancing platforms that do have a lot of people who want to, you know, buy and get the services versus the people that are there to provide services. That's what you need to understand. Okay. There are two types of people. Okay. This is a business. 
or client and this is you you the freelancer okay so in terms of this unpopular freelancing platform they are searching freelancers over there but you are not over there so you need to find these platforms and you need to go over there another example my 13 year old sister okay she got another client you know the first client she got uh, you know due to luck on fiverr and now the second client was from this website called as i will not tell you the name <laughs> or else it would be spoiled but basically it is a it is a unpopular freelancing platform that not a lot of people know about uh, and and basically you need to find these platforms and when you can just go out there present your services and that way you can find your clients okay so this is what i wanted to talk about in this complete video let's just summarize it build your brand by make, making content on linkedin instagram youtube and then also hop on to these unpopular freelancing platforms right so you have examples as i've said people per hour and some other ones go explore go research i will not tell you here because if i tell you over here it will no longer remain like an unpopular platform it will again become like a popular one or more people will hop on to it it will become overcrowded so that's what i do not want to happen over there so yeah that's pretty much it that was the video let me know in the comment section if you have any questions any you know suggestions let me know below and uh, yeah that's pretty much it you can follow me on instagram at ishan sharma 7390 um, over there i talk about a lot of tips related to freelancing earning money college student college life all of that i cover over there on instagram so you can check me out over there as well right that's pretty much it hit the like button share this video with your friends comment and let me know how you if you find this video helpful and uh, yeah that's pretty much it that was my video on finding freelancing clients i hope this was insightful and i'll see you all in the next video bye bye hey also you can subscribe to my channel right please do that anyways bye bye